Sodium ion batteries are becoming a thing. Electric cars now are being sold in China and planned for mass sales in Europe with sodium batteries. There's some advantages to sodium batteries. There's also some disadvantages. Now, sodium batteries still have some weaknesses that can be remedied by optimizing the battery materials using a concept called sodium ion battery doping. Here's what battery doping is. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. The Helmholtz Association of German Research Center has revealed exactly what goes on with sodium ion battery doping. Sodium ion batteries have weaknesses, of course, but they can be optimized by having a potentially a combination of other lithium ion battery technology. One possibility is to dope the cathode material with foreign elements. A team from HZB and Humboldt University in Berlin has investigated the effects of doping with scandium and magnesium. Now, magnesium is used in some lithium batteries, and it's a battery type that Tesla have been working on for a number of years. The scientists collected data at the X-ray sources, Bessie 2, Petra 3, and Solaris to get a complete picture and uncovered two competing mechanisms that determine the stability of the cathodes. Their research is published in the Journal of Advanced Materials. Lithium ion batteries have the highest energy density per kilogram, significantly higher than sodium batteries. But lithium resources are limited, potentially, some people believe. And realistically, the truth is, well, sodium is just cheaper, even with massively reduced lithium costs today. Realistically as well, sodium has virtually an unlimited supply. And it's the second best option to lithium in terms of energy density. There are some other benefits of sodium ion batteries as well. One of them, one of the challenges though is weight, which is the reason why many people believe that sodium ion batteries will be intentionally used primarily for mega battery storage projects. However, experts are convinced that the capacity or the energy density of sodium ion batteries can be significantly increased by using a targeted material in the design of the cathodes. Cathode materials made of layered transition metal oxides with the elements nickel and manganese for sodium ion battery energy density improvements. They form host structures, says techexplore.com, in which the sodium ions are stored during discharge and released again during charging, but ultimately degrade the cathode material through local structural changes. This has the consequence of reducing the lifetime of sodium ion batteries. And this is meant to be one of the benefits of sodium ion batteries that they last a long time. However, they say, we need high capacity with high stability, says the researchers working on these batteries in Germany. Different elements were selected as dopants that have similar ionic radii to nickel, but different valence states, magnesium ions or scandium ions. Three years of experiments on sodium ion batteries have produced some interesting results. To decipher the influence of these two elements, the team carried out experiments at three different X-ray sources. At Bessie 2, they analyzed the samples using resonant, inelastic X-ray scattering and X-ray absorption spectroscopy in the soft and hard X-ray ranges. At Petra 3, they evaluated structural changes with X-ray diffraction and pair distribution function analysis with hard x-rays and for more detailed insights on the element magnesium they carried out additional soft xas investigations at the pirx beam line at solaris in other words they've tested ways various ways to improve the performance of sodium ion batteries at three different locations over the past three years the results surprised us said the team Although doping with scandium leads to fewer structural changes during the electrochemical cycle than doping with magnesium, it does not improve stability. Until now, it was thought that suppressing phase transitions and thus volume changes would also improve the cathode material cycling performance over many cycles. But that's not enough. Magnesium doping suppresses the oxygen redox reaction in the batteries even more. 
This was also unexpected as magnesium is known to trigger an oxygen redox reaction in layered manganese oxides. We analyzed different manganese ratios in NMO and found that the oxygen redox reaction reaches a minimum at a ratio close to one, they said. Only through a combination of advanced X-ray techniques could we show that it is more than just suppression phase transitions that are important for improving the long-term cycling behavior, but also the interplay between the activity dictates performance as well. Now, what is essentially happening here is these German teams, they believe that sodium ion batteries are very likely to play a huge part of the future in battery technology worldwide. That's why they're spending so much time and effort on trying to improve battery performance, not only the energy density, but also the longevity of these batteries. Now, Stellantis have decided to build one of the world's biggest sodium ion batteries in Europe. And this will supply potentially lots of electric cars, affordable electric cars, the cheaper ones, the cheaper models, and also battery storage projects, which are currently being built all across Europe. Very good chance this kind of technology will go into future sodium ion batteries. Thanks for watching.